back and apology for missing last week. Uh, kind of annoyed me a little bit because the help from Just Heat was basically non-existent. I appreciate they're busy. Um, but when somebody needs support, you know, in the sense of it, it is a meal, you know, I missed, I didn't have anything to eat that night. So, you know, fair enough. But the failure of Just Eat and the pub was brilliant, rang them, they were fine. Um, they said the driver was a bit annoyed when he got there because it wasn't ready on time, OK? So as you could see there, I had to email Just Eat, didn't get a reply for, um, apart from the initial contact, for, I think, three days beyond me then emailing again and finally got a refund the following day. Um, that's probably the worst I've had from Just Eat in the time I've been using them. Um, I appreciate the driver couldn't find the house and sort of decided to put it as, as delivered. Now, that can't happen with delivery because you have to put a code in. So I think Just Eat really should sort of add some sort of, you know, almost like two-factor authentication. You've got to prove that you've dropped it to the customer. I, d I don't think that's unfair to say that. So, yeah, that was last week. Apology. We're now doing, obviously, this week, which is the same exact meal ordered. And as you can see there, what's in the bag? And we'll be on to the review in a minute. So, uh, yeah, so not done this before in terms of usually it's a voiceover of uh, I usually do. But it uh, seems to be a bit of a mess about. But we'll just do the same kind of line. So we've got chips. Pretty well packaged, to be fair. Um, better than most takeaways, I would say. We'll look at the fries in a minute. And the burger. And after speaking to the pub, the manager said that, yeah, they don't put the order on to the kitchen until um, the driver accepts the order. So that's obviously appreciated. Um, however, this could have been in his car for a little while. And not looking brilliant, being honest. It is a good pub burger kind of look to it, but yeah. Uh, so lettuce, tomato, extra burger, bacon, and I had extra cheese and bacon. So, again, looks kind of all good, but at the same time, it's because it's been in the, well, in the wrapping and the moisture has kind of got to it. So it could have been sat there five or 10 minutes. I don't really know, but, Let's see what the chicken wings are. Actually, they don't look too bad as far as chicken wings go. Mm, maybe a little bit overdone. Again, maybe sat in the bag. Barbecue sauce. That's nice. So, here we are, finally, after waiting two hours this week, and obviously last week not actually turning up. So we've got the fries, or fries, chips, standard pub chips. Cooked pretty well, I would say. With a bit of barbecue sauce on that. Maybe a couple kind of overdone. You can see there it's kind of gone a bit dry. Um, but not too bad. Again, this was why I wanted to have the comparison of a brand or, or chain compared to you know old school pub grub. All right, let's try the burger first. Again. Probably a little bit better now it's been out of the bag, but you can see there where the bun's gone soft. But let's try. That's not bad.
Hmm. The bun's absolutely ruined. You know, the heat and the moisture has, has destroyed it, but you can see that it was toasted. Toasted and the burgers cooked well. Maybe a little bit overdone, but the residual heat and inside that probably has added to it. But that's another bite. Try the chicken wings. Yeah, not bad. Probably a little bit. I mean, they are crispy chicken wings, which is what they say. But definitely cooked well and quite tasty even with the barbecue or without sorry the barbecue sauce so they're not bad <laughs> 